One thing I wanted to touch on, obviously a big event in your life. Uh, I don't. I wonder. It's been a few years now, so I'm not sure if everybody remembers this or maybe it's new six new years. people. Uh, but you got shot in the head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Walk me through that day. Like, uh, from what I understand, uh, you were working out <clears throat> over yeah. at RFM. You got mm-hmm. done with your workout. You went to go put your bag in, and yeah, happened. what Is happened that... was um, I I walked out to the parking lot. Like with a gun, with a bullet. Like dude, I'm talking about. That's oh. what I'm talking about. No, oh, but, after, after. No, oh, I mean, okay. I just, I don't. That's such a shocking thing when I say shot. I mean, like uh, he was shot with a gun, with a real bullet. So. Uh, oh yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Um. So I walked to the car. Um. After I, the thing is, I took some pictures with some fans. This is about seven thirty, between seven and seven thirty p.m. at night. The old House of Pain, uh, where RFM, where people used to play basketball at the RFM gym. Yes. Finished the workout about for about 30 minutes because we had a game uh, in the next 48 hours. So, yeah, I walk outside and, um, you know, I'm adjusting my bag right next to uh, my driver's side outside of the car. And I'm uh, bent over and then somebody walked up and boom, you know. It's out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. I thought it was just, I thought somebody was playing a joke, to be honest with you. I thought it was a bad joke. Um, and, uh you know when you, you play Call of Duty, right? Yeah. When the grenade blows up right next to you, it's things are ringing, right? Yes. And you just kind of see double vision a little bit. You can't really focus. I thought that was just for like make believe, you know, just for effects. That's real, you know. Okay. So um, you know that happened. I see the smoke. Um, I it was November. Okay. November seventh, I think. So I think I thought that. It was one of those kids throwing firecrackers because it was near the holidays, but that wasn't the case. But he shot me in the back of the neck, which ended up to be a lower brain injury later on. Wow. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, like, what ha- I mean, what right. happened after Yeah, a lot of, see, a lot, hey, that's the thing. Yeah, shot. a lot of people don't, uh, don't know that. But uh, John Aquino, my trainer, comes out because he heard the gunshot. And I, I, by this time, I'm standing up. Okay, so he shoots me, and I, I kind of wince a little bit, but then I stand up, and I turn around because I'm a little upset. It hurt. Yeah. So I see the guy kind of trotting down the hill, mm-hmm. stuffing something in his shorts. Then I'm kind of looking around a little bit. The, the smoke and just people just walking in and out of that place. Back then, the security wasn't so tight. People could just take shortcuts through that area. So no telling who did it. Mm-hmm. And then uh, John Aquino comes out because he heard the gunshot, and he sees the hole in my neck. I felt, okay, so I felt back there before he came out, and I didn't feel a hole. Okay. So I thought the guy missed, and it, it didn't make any sense because uh-huh. he shot me in the neck, Thought, I'm, yeah, I thought I was dead. You know, it's like that. Like, okay, here's another thing, too, and I don't want to get weird, but I don't want to sound weird, but sometimes it's true, I guess, because uh, I saw, I okay, so I'm standing there. You remember the scene from Ghost? Yes, yeah. I remember Ghost. So for a few seconds, that's what that was the case. Okay. I was looking for my body, <laughs> yeah. you know, and then um, I was like, no, I can feel the pain. I'm still here, and I'm still, you know, can I can still function properly. So that that kind of freaked me out a little bit. John snapped me out of it. He goes, I need the keys to your car. We He gets into my car. I get into my car. He, like a speed demon, he's driving in and out of traffic, gets to um, uh, uh, Medical City. In that time, I grabbed the phone. I plugged the wound. There was a, a weekend warrior ball player who came along with us. Okay. He gave me a shirt. I plugged the wound. And um, I immediately I called up coach. This voice went off in my head saying, okay, if you focus, you're going to make it through this. Because before that, I thought I was going to die. Yeah. Right? So it was Coach Chut. And he, you know, his first reaction, what? <laughs> you know? And then um, I said, I need, you to, uh, I need you to call my mother's sister. She lives in Kubao. This is her number. You know, and um, her name is her name is uh, Pasita Samana, um, and uh, just t- please tell her what happened. I'm on my way to uh, 
Medical City. I'm going to be there in the next five minutes. So that was, that's pretty much, yeah. That was yeah. great that John was there and exactly. was able to take yeah. care of you and had his wits about him to yeah. to see that yeah. you needed, obviously needed that was a, It was on a Tuesday, right? So the crazy thing about it, around 7, 7.30, it's major traffic. Yeah, it must have been and jammed. I mean, no, it wasn't. It was clear. Mm, okay. Nothing. I mean, he's speeding around cars. But he got there, it seemed like a few seconds, yeah. yeah. Well, it's a crazy story that doesn't happen to very many people, and we are thankful that you're here right oh, now and doing this for, podcast, yeah, man. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> and when yeah. it happened, like, you know, you you hear stories like that, and you never think that it would happen to somebody that you know, or for mm-hmm. you, happen to you, actually. Yeah. So that is wild. Did they ever catch who did that? Um. I'm not supposed to get into that, okay. you know, because that's um, that's something that the company knows, you know. Okay. So yeah, sorry well, about that. Yeah. No, that's yeah. that's fine. I wasn't sure what the situation <laughs> yeah. was. I know you were walking around with security guards. I did for two uh, years, for, two yeah, years, for yeah, a long yeah, time, twenty four seven. That must have been right. scary. Like, were you were you always kind of like looking over your shoulder there for I still, a while? I still do, still okay. do. You know, even walking through here to your to your place here, just kind of you know, the bodyguards told me that. You know, always be aware uh, when you when you uh, get into the, when you're about to walk out to a parking lot. Uh, look at the parking lot, study it first. You know, look at pe- people's eyes. You know, especially when the toughest part is when you get people coming up to you that want to take your picture, right? Oh, so yeah. especially when it gets twenty, about ten to fifteen people. You know, they say when it gets like that, if you don't feel safe, just leave. Mm-hmm. Or if you feel like you want to take pictures. Just watch their eyes. Watch their eyes. Watch their hands. You know, so that's what I try to do. You know, well, so, that's, that's wild. Uh, that's the type of life to I gotta live yeah, if I want to be out here. You to know what I mean? Have that kind so, of yeah. awareness yeah. now it must be a totally different. You must see things completely differently than, than yeah, say I, I do. do or I, I do else. now. Yeah. Uh, just.